What's up guys out here getting the workout in, get my pump on. Man, I ain't gonna lie, it's been a while, but it feels good. But check this out, I wanted to show y'all this. As you can see, my girlfriend's over here doing some self-discovery work. And uh, by all means, she's doing it on her own. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like she used to watch TV a lot and stuff. And I told her, I'm not gonna get on you and tell you, you know, to be more productive. I'm like, when you're ready to be productive, you'll do it on your own. And I started asking me, first off, so look at my, look how beautiful that is. Out here getting a workout in. It's beautiful out here, y'all. Like I was saying, she started asking me, like, how do you know, like, how do you find what you like to do, you know? Like, how are you living on purpose and stuff like that? And it's like, what she's doing right now, you know what I mean? It's just like the deep work to be able to sit in silence and to be able to discover yourself. And even to this point right now, I'm learning more and more about what I want to Where I'm going is far beyond fitness. You might not see me preach fitness and nutrition no more. It's because it's far beyond that now. I'm going into the area of a whole, as a whole individual building you up. Not just physically, but to mentally, the spiritually. We go in all areas now. You're not just looking good, but you're feeling good. Like I said, a lot of guys, they want to get a nice body, not just for the sake of having a nice body. They want to feel good about who they are. They want to love who they are. They want to feel adequate. They want to attract beautiful women. They want to be confident. They don't want to doubt themselves. These are the things, and these are the reasons why guys want to get a better body. Let me tell you something. That it in itself is not going to get you the confidence you want. That's not going to change your life. Nothing will change besides your outer shell. You have to change your mindset you have to change the way you view yourself because you don't feel like you're good enough you don't think you're good enough you doubt yourself you have low self-esteem lack of confidence and it doesn't and you're probably thinking like Vern oh my goodness look at that city behind us that's beautiful right and you're probably thinking Vern like man I just want to get a nice body I know I'll be confident by then listen I'm telling you I went down the same road you think you're gonna get bigger you're gonna look more intimidating you're gonna have the confidence you know, you're not going to be self-conscious anymore. You'll be able to talk to all the women, get all the women, have a great, thriving social life, whether it be with your spouse, family members, being able to talk to coworkers, bosses, you know, make new friends. You know, you think you're just going to have the confidence. You're going to have the self-belief in yourself, all because you have a bigger, nicer body. And that's wrong. You know, how do I know? Because like I said before, I used to play basketball. I used to, I started learning sales techniques. And it doesn't matter how much skill you acquire. If you don't believe in yourself, if you don't have the confidence, then you will not succeed. Don't matter whatever you try to get women, try to have a better social life, whatever it is, you won't succeed if you don't have the self-belief. You won't. And it's totally up to you because, listen, I'm not going to chase you down. OK, like I don't like you see, you might not even think I'm still working on my business because I don't even post about, hey, come choose me. No, like I give out a free training and only one free training only, which is the three secrets to go from skinny and insecure to shredded and confident. There's only one free training that I give out. Other than that, I don't chase clients. Why? Because that only attracts low quality clients. People that just want to get in there and think I'm going to do all the work for them. Nah, I rather prefer to have high quality clients. People will come to me and say, hey, what you got for me? I need it. I'm going to take it. I'm going to implement it and I'm going to get the results I want. Those are the kind of people I want to work with. Not somebody had to continuously message and say, hey, are you doing this? Are you doing that? Yeah, of course, I'm going to check in, but I'm not going to be on your toes, chasing you down, making sure you're doing the work. You got to hold yourself accountable. That's what it's about. That being said, I'm going to enjoy this lovely walk in the beautiful city with my loved one here. I uh, hope you guys have a wonderful day. Hope you enjoyed the talk and uh, take some action on what needs to be taken action on. Much love.